never seen a sea till I come here because I'd been in Oxford and there was no sea there. So when one night a great soaring rocket speared across this little cottage and fell in the churchyard, we all woke up and wondered whatever was happening. We got up in that morning, wondering anxiously. We went to rushed out. I was then just over four years of age. Been on for five. Looked across the sea front. I think then the wall that was built by the Bay State Company had been built. But lying up against on the beach was a huge ship called the Gannet, bound for London. We told at the time that she turned in at New Haven, thought she'd pass BTA. And he rammed her into the beach there, and there she laid a huge cargo boat. A wonderful sight for a boy that never already seen the sea. Well, we said we'd got to go to school, but when we got to school, there was no one there. And Mr. Foss and the master said, clear out. There'd be nobody coming here today after a sight such as that. And so we cleared out, and we went and saw the sight. Well, she laid there, and never got her off again. But I remember that we had tea colossal a lot in her house. Old ships, biscuits that wanted some eating, I had to toast them to eat them. All sorts of articles were stored in her cottage, but to recover from there. Also, we noticed that lighters came alongside and were towed into the way and harbor with cargo from her. And the practically everything that was on that ship was salvaged. Up on the top, there was any amount of barrels and boxes and tea chests and various articles. It was a sight. <laughs>